Right, Dylan. <laughs> hey guys, Josh with Valken. We're at SHOT Show 2019. I'm sitting here with Jonathan from Airsoft Innovations, their marketing and sales director, and we're gonna talk about a new product that they are releasing at this 2019 SHOT Show. So, what you got for us? Yeah, man, I've got the new Master Mic. This is what we've got. We just launched it. Um, we're pretty excited. We're really happy, and we think you guys are going to really like it. And we should probably talk about it, I guess. No, absolutely. So, I know everyone's familiar with the forty mic, yeah, which you guys released last year, and um, everyone was real excited because it's like something new for the M two hundred three. There was a lot of controversy around it. And um, I think that that's kind of more of like airsofters abusing it, but we're going to talk about that later. We, I want to talk about the differences between the 40 mic and the master mic. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we released this product called the 40 mic. Um, it was our take on a 40 millimeter grenade shell. So shells had existed in the past, mm -hmm. standard Moscard shells, they had multiple barrels. Um, they all, all the barrels, you know, you had to load individually. So we basically came out with this thing that we were like, if we wanted to play with launchers only, this is what we would use. And that was the 40 mic. It was this super cool 40 millimeter shell with one barrel and using our quantum drive technology, which you had mentioned, basically was also seen in the Cyclone. It allowed to, uh, the product to shoot 150 BBs out of one barrel at 240 feet per second. So that's something the airsoft world has never seen before. No, they haven't. You have, I mean, even if you see it with gas shotguns, you know, having every single projectile leave the barrel at the exact same velocity is a right. feat. Right. And um, I think it's safer because as long as you're using the product with green gas, what's recommended, yep. you're going to get that velocity every time. Right. We've got, a, we've got a list of safety features that, you know, we hope that everyone respects, um, which is like play kind of how you want to be played with. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't want to get shot in That's the face. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to get shot, you know, super close in the face. Right. And we put all these recommendations and safety features on the product, and we tell people, you know, to get optimal fun out of the game, like, this is how you should use it. And if you do, you'll love it. Like, we think you will really love the performance of the 40 mic. It'll make you bring your launcher back out of the closet that you, you know, tucked away because all those old shells that weren't doing yeah. anything for you. Or they don't hold, you know, they have... Uh I know several ones that have the shuttles have multiple O-rings, they right. have the multiple barrels, um, and then of course over the years the, the green gas just kind of leaks. I mean, you guys actually include the recommended lubricant in the box with the shell. Right. We tried to make this product like really fun and easy for players. Basically, you know, in terms of how you load it, you know, the self-resetting trigger so you don't have to kind of like muck with that, the safety cover so you don't have to worry when you're loading it about mm -hmm. it, you know, accidentally going off. Um, just, you know, we try to think about all the things of how people actually use this day to day and what really makes it fun. Because at the end of the day, we're all playing airsoft here to have fun. Yeah, the less you have to mess with something, the more fun you can be having instead of like repairing it, fixing it, loading it. Exactly. I mean, people who don't have never had experience with 40 millimeter shells is, you know, like you said, with the self resetting trigger, yeah. I had to carry around this special little tool, a little aluminum rod that I used oh, to yeah. reset the shuttle. I'm aware. I'm and aware. then, you know, if the BBs weren't loading all the way, the other side was to like shove them all in and pack it all nice and neat. You know, you can just like grab your speed loader, any speed loader you want, yeah. load it up through one port, one yeah. barrel, and, you know, then you're ready to get back in the game. Yeah, I mean, you can do it on the field. You can do it in the safe zone. We wanted to make it like super fun and super easy to use this product and to reuse it and keep using it. Um, and, you know, we tried to make it really player oriented, like, you know, directly for the guys who have launchers and field launchers. Well, speaking of like player oriented, what like, like when I see all the videos online of people yeah. like with the negativity surrounding the 40 mic, like, right. When I think 240 feet per second, I mean, there are guns from Walmart that shoot slower than that. So, right. like, what made you choose uh, 220 feet per second? Like, what's the, what's the right. mindset and the safety behind going so for that? So, in this, FPS in this, in this, uh, in the master mic, in the master mic version, we we cut down the FPS and we cut down the BB capacity, and we did that because it's got a much wider spread and it's meant to be used at a closer range. I wouldn't say you know use it. Extreme close, close range, range, yeah. But it's like a mid-range 40 millimeter shell that, you know, has a very widespread and that allows for a whole different range of scenarios. 
40 mic, you know, you could take guys off out of towers, you could, mm -hmm. you know, clear windows, rooftops at 150 feet. This thing is more for the medium, uh, medium range, which like ambush, yeah, like large group, yeah, ambush. You know, you're playing outdoors. There's some thick brush. Cover me. <laughs> we played that game before. Yeah, I mean, imagine <laughs> mag dumping. You know, a bunch of mags through some heavy brush mm -hmm. just to get that one BB through to kill that guy. Right. This thing, you pull one trigger, you've sent a hundred BBs through the bush. The guy's gonna get hit. Something's gonna get through there. Something's gonna get through there without it being like a, a hose. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that's awesome. kind of. That's kind of some of the scenarios we thought about. But, you know, in the end, players are going to figure out other cool ways to use it. And we're kind of excited to see what they can show us. Cool ways to use it, not abuse it. Exactly. Because I think that we can all have a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to Milsim. You know, I got my EGLM and I'm going to take it out. I got my bandolier. I'm going to have a lot of fun with it this year. Yeah. And, you know, be able to switch it up between the 40 mic and the master mic. Oh, for um, sure. So let's chat show. How can customers get their hands on the master mic? So uh, we're showing it at the Falcon booth, 3826. They can come to the booth. They can talk to us. Falcons has it in stock, ready to ship. So you can actually buy it right now from Falcon. Um, and yeah, I kind of want to just show them what yeah, it looks absolutely. like. Yeah, absolutely. This is the Master Mic box. Uh, it's got the red box, which actually denotes the mic uh, status. So these, you know the 40 mic's got a red box. So that's how you kind of know when you're in store or at one of your Falcon retailers, look for the red box. It's either gonna be the master mic or the 40 mic. Make sure you read depending on which one you want. Um, so yeah, what comes in the box is obviously uh, a bunch of stuff, a bunch of cool stuff. So as soon as you open the box, you get um, one of our patches, uh, one of our limited edition patches and the master mic uh, comes with one of two patches. So um, right now this is the pain train patch, but there's gonna be another patch that you can get when, it, when uh, in a little while so they can you know if someone gets one later on they get a chance of getting another cool patch awesome. and everybody loves patches. and everybody loves patches bob loves patches uh and then you obviously get the master mic and i think one thing you can tell about it is it's a little shorter it's a little shorter it's a little shorter yeah. so uh, at first look you kind of see that this thing's a little bit shorter than the 40 mic and the, the reason it's shorter is it holds less bb's um, so BB capacity, it's stored around the product. So obviously less BBs means shorter shell. Shorter shell means fits more launchers. Mm. So some of you guys, um, there were some launchers out there that you know weren't fitting 40 millimeter shells. I know like the Mad Bull. Yeah, some of the underslung, short. you know, you kind of had to like shimmy it up and fit a 40 millimeter shell or uh, the 40 mic in. Master mic should have no problem fitting in all shells or all launchers. But um, yeah, it's kind of one of the you know benefits of having a shorter shell is it fits more launchers. Uh, then obviously you get the safety cover um, and, and yeah so the safety covers got you have a it's rubber you got a lanyard so yep. it'll stay on your gear you won't lose it it's got a small I think it's like a washer in the back right that keeps you essentially from depressing the, the uh, shuttle there yeah yeah so the the Safety cover, basically, when you're reloading the product, just make sure you put the safety cover on before you reload. That just prevents accidental triggering of the trigger. Which happens more often than you think. Right. <laughs> Especially if you're on a table full of BBs, you put the shell down, trigger's kind of like the right size for a BB to fit in. So mm -hmm. that's why we designed the safety cover, because we know people, you know, they load their shells like this on a table full of BBs. And they just drop it down and look, yeah. Exactly. So yeah, yeah that's screaming at you and staging. And then you get your bottle of grenade oil, that's for maintenance. Um, if you have Where does it, the grenade oil go? Do you just... Yeah, so sometimes the uh, trigger valve on a product gets a little sticky. You can mm -hmm. just put a little drop on the trigger valve, and then other times you can just uh, lubricate down the barrel. Oh, awesome. Yeah. That's super easy. So uh, there you go, just in case you were wondering. Yeah. And then you obviously get the manual, the um, 40 mic manual. That goes through all the how to use it, how to reload it, all the safety features, you know, recommended reading. I think these days a lot of people pick something up, and they're just like, okay, I'm just gonna start, you know, using it. I recommend, you know, read the manual. It's gonna teach you how to use this thing properly, how to keep it maintained, and how to load it fully. We've seen some people who uh, have loaded it, and they basically fill it with BBs. They cover it with their finger. They give it a little shake, and then they think it's done loading. Ooh. So the way this product actually works in this case and the 40 mic is, you want to load it. You want to um, put your finger over it, shake it. Then you want to keep loading it until you kind of stop hearing a rattling. So repeat okay. that process until you stop hearing a rattling. What that means is that BBs have made their way all the way to the bottom channel. Right. So if there's people who are saying, you know, it's 40 mic doesn't seem like it's shooting that many BBs, it's probably because it's underloaded. 
Right, Same with because the you obviously way. could have a gap between the rounds exactly. or between the gas source. Yeah. Yeah. So the shaking just makes them all kind of like fit, you know, align in their in their in their position inside. So you want to do that a few times until you kind of stop hearing rattling, and that lets you know it's full. And uh, for some customers, they don't realize that you guys actually make these yourselves in Canada. Yeah. You machine, assemble, test, QC, all of it in Canada. Right. So, I mean, thanks for bringing this awesome product by. Let's go over some of the features just so the customers understand the difference between the 40 mic and the master mic before we go. Absolutely. So the master mic here is the medium range shell that we've designed, medium range 40 millimeter shell. It shoots at 220 feet per second. Um, and it has 100 BB capacity, so basically holds 100 BBs in this in this tiny little 40 millimeter shell. It's got a maximum range of 60 feet, and at 20 feet, it has a 10 foot spread. So at, at 20 feet, you got a 10 foot radius of BBs. Contrast that with the 40 mic, which has 150 BB capacity. It fires at 240 feet per second velocity, and it has a 10 foot spread at 100 feet. So 10 foot diameter at 100 feet with a maximum range of 150 feet. All right, Jonathan, thanks for stopping by and sharing the product with us. Everybody, be sure to stop by the Valken booth at 3826 here at SHOT Show 2019. Valken has the product in stock, ready to ship. Be sure to call your local sales rep. And uh, yeah, you can actually come by and talk to Jonathan, see the product. We have it in the booth. You can touch it, feel it, see it. Talk to Jonathan. And you might have some like special swag or something yeah. like that. Yeah, come by the booth, say hello. We can explain the product, talk about all the cool features, show you it in person, and we've got some exclusive swag that you can pick up at the Falcon booth, uh, three eight two six. Come check it out. Right, right, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs>